Hello guys, in this video we are going to create a custom application and why would we need a custom application? Well, we need a custom application um, so we can uh, so we can identify applications that show up as an unknown and they show up as unknown for either that because there was incomplete data um, and incomplete data means that a handshake took place but no data packets sent prior to the timeout or because an insufficient insufficient there was insufficient data um, which means that a handshake took place followed by one or more data packets however not enough data packets were exchanged to identify uh, the application um, so that's why you would uh, create a custom application so you can actually um, so you can identify those unknown applications um, and in Palo Alto networks firewall the way that you could do this you could either request an app ID from Palo Alto networks or you can just create your own custom application and the way to create your custom application is by going into objects and while you are in objects you want to go into applications and in here what you want to do is you want to create your own one because it is not going to be in here um, but if you request your app the applications that you want um, but b before you do that you want to do like a pcap so you can gather all the information on that unknown traffic on that unknown application that you get in and whenever you whenever you gather that um, packet capture uh, you send it to you send it to Palo Alto Networks and they can create uh, an application for you and then it will show up in here and you can search it but since we are creating our own one we are going to just go ahead and add and the name, uh, let's just say, um, it's going to be a SQL. It's going to for the SQL application in your company that is being identified as unknown, but you want to identify it as just um, SQL application, right? Um, and you can add a description. Let's say this is the company's internal application so show, showing um, let's say yeah let's just, just leave it like this is the company's you might want to just why companies internal companies internal SQL uh, companies internal SQL application put it right here there we go oops what did I do I open okay cancel what did I do I'll open a new tab something went wrong can I do a control C there we go S SQL application there we go so for in here you want to also go ahead and add the category that you want to add um, for their properties um, so the category you can either do business system collaboration general internet media or networking I'm going to choose is business system um, the parent application that you want to choose for that um, there is a bunch of them that you can choose as you can see um, but you can pick whatever you want um, is there a let's say it is my sequel there we go subcategory is you, you want to also add a subcategory for this you want to say that for this one it is a database the risk you can leave it either at one two three four five six whatever you want I'm going to leave it at one the technology that we are using uh, let's just say that it is a client server one um, you can also have some characteristics over here if it is capable of file transfer if it uses excessive bandwidth 
if it is evasive if if it, if it's, if it uses uh, malware or it is used by malware it is prone to be misused I mean you can check any of this whatever you want um, if we continue for scanning for all the applications so you can do um, you can choose whatever you want to in in this characteristics over here then they want to go ahead and move on into the advanced tab um, and in this advanced type you tab you want to specify uh, the default ports or protocols that the application uses uh, you can specify the timeouts as well or the, the, the session timeout values and if you don't um, specify the timeout values the default timeout value will be used um, you can also indicate any type of additional scanning um, you plan to perform on the application traffic as well um, so if you want to do let's see, I just want to check all three that's fine uh, if you want to do an IP protocol you can add it right here if you want to add the port you can add whatever port you want to add let's just go ahead and say it uses TCP 443 or whatever or 443 443 right and that's going to be added over here or 44 yeah that's fine um, and the timeouts like I said you can specify the session timeout the TCP half close and all of that in here um, and then we can move up or move on into the signatures after you have configured the advanced tab and in here uh, you will uh, use the information gathered from the packet captures um, to specify unique strings context values that the firewall can use to match patterns in the application traffic um, so if you perform uh, like you should you should perform a pcap on that unknown traffic that you want to identify as this application um, so you can add basically those unique signature and all that so if you want to add a, uh, a signature you, you can just go ahead and add if you want to specify a uh, the name of it uh, let's just go ahead and say SQL let's say type in SQL app if you want to add a comment you can go ahead and do that um, and if you want the scope if you want to be a transaction or a uh, if you want to be a single transaction or is it going to be a it's going to be matching a full session you can pick any you can choose for any of those um, also over here if you want to order condition match um, this order condition match is that if you are going to have multiple of them it is going to be matching by the order so for the first second third and all of that okay so if we you want to specify the conditions uh, to define the signatures by clicking on the n or condition or the n n condition um, so if you want to let's go ahead and select the n or the n or for the operator you can match either the pattern greater than less than or equal to it depends on whatever you want to match um, the context in here uh, you want to specify what's going to be the content of this application uh, let's see if they have a let's just go ahead and add this in my sequel over here the pattern um, so the pattern over here you want to um, you want to define either Let's just go ahead and do let's see. Maybe you can select equal to. So for the pattern, you could do it's an like an equal to there we go. So if you do either a pattern match it is going to just uh, try to match the pattern or you want to do just equal to um, you can also do equal to so you can go ahead and press ok and that's going to add that condition the first condition that we add was the n or condition so it is basically saying that 
it's going to match um, it's going to either do the this one or the other one but if you add the and condition you need to actually have two so for the or it's just basically going to match uh, two of them this one if it doesn't match this one then it, should, it could match the other one right so for the end if you're going to add an n one it means that it needs to match both of them in here uh, so let's go ahead and do you can also do the sequel again over here uh, pattern let's just do over here is going to be pattern match and over here and the order condition match means that it is going to go through this one and also this one so it's going to go through the entire list so you just go ahead and press ok that we hope we have created a signature the scope is that it's going to use a transaction scope uh, that means that it is going to take a look at one single transaction it is not going to take a look at the full session but if you want to take a look at the full session you can just go ahead and press ok and select session over here and you press ok and there we go so we have created our custom application and you can see over here on top the risk is only one so now what you want to do is after this you want to go ahead and commit your changes and after you commit your changes then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and add it to you want to go ahead and go to policies and then go into security and you want to add that uh, security policy rule to allow the the new application and I'm, I am going to show you that after I commit this um, because right now we just have we just have created a custom application but it is not being used right now right it is not being used because it is not in a security policy because it is not being matched um, so let's go ahead and when this is done there we go you want to go into policies you want to go into security let's go ahead and go into one of this application if you right now I have it as any but I just want to match my SQL application that I created right here press OK and there we go so now this security security policy right now it is going to match the custom application that I added you can press commit and voila